Hi, in this session, I'll be covering Review Actual Query Execution Plan using DBMS Explain.Display Cursor. This will be the part 1 of the tutorial for Review Actual Query Execution Plan using DBMS Explain.Display Cursor. In part 1, I'll be covering what is execution plan, various methods to view execution plan, problems with explain plan and auto trace, and I'll show a demo on it an overview on dbms explain dot display cursor okay and in part two will be i'll be cover in part two i'll be covering setup and view execution plan using display cursor function compare output of display cursor after using the gather plan statistics hint and after using the other option by setting statistics level to all okay and i will execute some queries and i will review execution plan the estimated and actual resource execution statistics, the IO stat, memory stats, and usage of temp. I'll try to explain all of those, okay? And I'll show uh, some demos, okay? So, what is an execution plan? An execution plan is the set of detailed steps necessary to execute a SQL statement. The core of the execution plan is the row source tree, which includes an ordering of the table referenced by the statement an access method for each table mentioned in the statement an access method means how oracle will access the data it might be a full table scan it might be index scan okay a join method for tables affected by join operation in the statement the join method can be a nested loop join it might be a short mark join it might be a hash join like this and also data operations like filter sort aggregation other vital info in query execution are details of cost and cardinality of each operation, details of partitioning such as the set of access partitions, details of parallel execution such as what is the distribution method in the parallel execution. So all this vital info will be there in a execution plan and Oracle will use this to execute your SQL statement. So these are one of the most basic utilities, one of the most popular utilities to show you the explain execution plan. The first will be explain plan. This is most basic utility to show the estimated plan without actually executing the SQL. But it's not 100% reliable because it has problem with the bind picking. It does not deal the bind variable very well. Okay and auto trace it's really useful utility it shows execution plan as well as the execution statistics but it uses the same method as explain plan to show the execution plan internally it uses the explain plan command itself to show you the execution plan so it has the same basic problems like explain plan like problem with bind variables so it's not also 100 percent reliable and V$ SQL plan. It's a dynamic performance view introduced in Oracle 9i that shows the execution plan of the statement that has been compiled into a cursor in the cursor cache. When you uh, execute any SQL statement and if you find that SQL ID for that is SQL statement from the V$ SQL view and if you query using that SQL ID in the V$ SQL plan view then you can find that plan used to execute the SQL and you might need to format the output okay and tkprof this is most widely used by dbs and very useful utility once sql tracing is enabled in your session or in your db level it captures lots of vital info regarding actual query execution like what is the actual plan what is the execution statistics like uh, number of consistent read number of physical read number of physical writes number of uh, current mode reads and also count of parse execution count what is the elapsed time what is the cpu time and lots of other vital info uh, dumped into a trace file so uh, these trace files are not very uh, easy to read and because there are lots of info in the trace file and it's not much in an organized way so using tkprof you can generate readable report from the SQL trace file by which you can uh, view all the details regarding query executions and you can also view the actual execution plan used to execute the query okay 
but uh, tkprop is mostly used by the dbs cause uh, developer in most of the cases don't have access to the sql trace files or tkprop utility or uh, or uh, the privilege is are required to use tkprop and other option will be dbms explained or display cursor which is our current topic it shows the actual execution plan from the v dollar dynamic performance views it can show the estimated execution matrix side by side the actual actual execution matrix and it can also show lots of vital details like what is the io stats what is the memory stats what is the temp usage in the query okay all this can it can show so before i uh, discuss with display cursor i would like to show you the demo of for uh, when auto trace uh, fails to give you the right plan okay so i have a table empl i have a skewed column emp sts flag in the table which have in this particular column i have a index bitmap index okay it's a skewed column you can see in this column we have uh, in more than 21 lakh record it, the value is permanent in only 3000 records the value is training fine so i will use a uh, first i will turn on my auto trace then uh, i will use a bind variable i'll v bind emp and i am putting permanent into the bind variable now now i'll execute this query to view the plan so uh, the value is now permanent so query is like select sum of salary from hr.empl where emp status flag equal to permanent so in most of the uh, rows the value is permanent so more than 99.9 percent .9%. so as assumed it's doing a full table scan fine let's uh, try it for the training in only 3300 rows the value is training fine okay the value of the bind variable is now training okay I have I'll execute the statement now okay now see it says plan of the plan for the statement will be uh, the access method will be table access full that means the full table scan but really it is using full table scan as the access method I have doubt cause only in 3000 columns the uh, uh, sorry only in the 3300 rows the value is training among the 21 lakh rows okay so let's check what is the actual plan first i will turn on the auto trace and if you see in the query i have used a comment uh, just to identify that particular query uh, that particular query in the v dollar sql view okay i'll do a select sql id sql text from uh, v dollar sql okay where sql text like test auto trace to like this one okay now you can see this is the sql text fine now i'll uh, pass this sql text as parameter uh, sorry SQL ID in as parameter in the display cursor function to view the actual plan so here you can see I have used display cursor I have passed these three parameters here you can see it's using this particular bitmap index and it's using index scan table access by index row ID to access this employee table EMPL table so you can understand that autotrace was giving us a wrong plan this was the plan provided by autotrace the access method was wrong in the plan so from this demo you can understand the fault with autotrace fine okay so uh, let's start with display cursor 
this table function displays the execution plan of any cursor loaded in the cursor cache in addition to the execution plan various plan statistics such as io memory and timing details can be uh, shown using this particular function it can show estimated execution matrix side by side the actual execution matrix okay to view the actual resource consumption that means the actual execution matrix the gather plan statistics hint can be used or in session or database level you can set the statistics level parameter to all but uh, setting statistics level to all it can cause it causes basically additional overhead so never it's not recommended in the uh, to set it to all in the db level you can uh, try it in your session level uh, for uh, doing some testing or performance analysis okay if gather plan statistics hint is used or statistics level set it to all and sql execution is done then the corresponding extended data in the child cursor gets populated or updated and display cursor uses v dollar plan statistics all to show the actual runtime stats it can show actual cardinalities versus estimated cardinalities that is the actual rows and the estimated rows actual time spent on each operation what is the logical lo io number of logical io physical io memory usage of work areas temp space usage all this it can show we will discuss about all these components in bit detail in the second part we will do some demos on it in the second part okay so parameters for dbms explained or display cursor first one will be the sql id it specified the generated sql id of the sql statement in the cursor cache you can retrieve the appropriate value by querying the v dollar sql or v dollar sql area it defaults to null in which case the plan of the last cursor executed by the session is displayed okay the same thing like we can uh, in like in our last example we can retrieve the sql id like here yeah uh, from your v dollar sql view okay this is this is our sql id and we have passed as the first parameter to the display cursor using this way you can view it otherwise if you keep it to null then it will uh, take the sql id from your last execution in the session from your session okay child cursor number the child number of the cursor to display if not supplied the execution plan of all cursors matching the supplied sql id parameter are displayed and child number can be specified once you use the sql id once the sql id is specified fine and the format it's uh, most uh, important uh, parameter it accept four values basic displays the minimum information in the plan the operation id the operation name and its option typical this is by default it displays most of the relevant info in the plan like operation id name option number of rows number of bytes and optimizer cost pruning parallel and predicate info predicate information are already displayed when it's applicable and excludes the projection alias and remote sql info because these three projection alias and remote sql can be shown when you are using the all option fine serial like typical except the parallel information is not displayed even if the plan executed in parallel okay all this is the maximum user level option highest level it includes all information displayed by the typical level with an additional info like projection alias and information about remote sql okay for final control of the display output the following keywords can be added like rows bytes cost partition parallel predicate projection alias remote note io stat mem stat all set last among this these last four are very much vital okay uh, this is mostly used this last four like io stats once you use the gather plan statistics hint or set the statistics level to all this format shows the io statistics for all execution of the cursor it can show buffers and reads as part of the output this we'll discuss uh, in the part 2 in detail like buffers what are the buffer and what means the reads okay just uh, i'll i'll show 
one thing like how it is displayed suppose select sum of salary from hr.empl and I will uh, use this option IO stats last ok now ok I, I just forgot one thing just uh, set it alter just to set the statistic level to all okay now I'll execute this query again select okay here now you can see two additional columns buffers and reads we'll discuss about uh, this in detail in the part 2 like what mean what is buffers what is reads okay and mem stats this displays the memory management statistics regarding the estimated size of the required pga work areas to do a memory intensive operations like sort hash join bitmap merge or bitmap create actions the three columns are uh, omem one mem and use mem these three columns are shown when used you use the mem stats option and in memory intensive operations like any sorting is done or has join is done or bitmap merge is done okay so let's uh, and there is another another option all stats this is io stats plus mem stats it will show uh, buffers and reads as well as this three omem one mem and used mem and we will discuss about this three also in bit detail in the part two okay let's uh, try like uh, just to show the options I'll do this let's start from HR employee order by one two three okay oh, this is displayed now it has done some sorting I'll use now the all stats option that means IO stats plus mem stats okay here you can see it is showing buffers reads omem one mem and used mem these three are new when you use the mem stats or the all stats option these three are related to PGA related to the SQL work area when you do any memory intensive operations like has join or any sorting okay S those are done in the PGA and uh, you can uh, the those details are shown here okay once you use the all stats option okay so in part 2 we have covered these details sorry in part one we have covered these details like details on execution plan and all various methods problems with auto trace explain plan and or an overview on display cursor in part two will be uh, covering display cursor in bit detail those outputs like compare output of display cursor after using gather plan statistics hint and uh, using the other option by setting statistics level to all we'll review we'll execute some queries we'll review execution plan different plans will try to understand the estimated actual row source execution statistics io stats memory stats and usage of temp in the part 2 i'll try to explain what uh, first of all basic things like what does sort order by means or uh, how, what are the access methods and uh, other specific things to display cursor like e rows estimated rows actual rows actual time what are these I will discuss like buffers, reads, omem, one mem, used mem. What, uh, what is represented by these details? I will discuss about them all in the second part, and I'll show some demos. Okay, so thank you for uh, listening to me and viewing my video on YouTube.
thanks uh, please uh, check the second video also hope uh, you will like it okay